afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Dan Scripps, Chair of the Michigan Public Service Commission, and I call this meeting of the Commission to order on April 25th, 2022 at 1.30 p.m. Madam Secretary, please call the roll. Chair Scripps. Present. Commissioner Phillips. Present. Commissioner Paratic. Present. Mr. Chair, you have a quorum. Excellent. Thank you. Today's meeting is being held in person at the Commission's office at 7109 West Saginaw Highway in Lansing, Michigan. We are also hosting this meeting remotely using Microsoft Live Event. It is compatible with all browsers except Safari. Telephone relay service is available through the phone option. If you are participating via the live stream, you may also turn on the live captions by clicking on the closed caption or CC button in the lower right corner of the screen. As indicated in the notice for today's meeting, if we lose the remote connection, the Commission will not recess. The meeting will be recorded and available for future reference on the Commission's website. In addition, the Commissioners can receive comment via MPSC underscore Commissioners at Michigan.gov. For reference, this email is also included in the Q&A feature on the live stream event on your computer and in the meeting notice. We will have an opportunity for the public to make comment as provided in the agenda. A few notes about this. Comments should be limited to one per person and can be made verbally in person or by calling in or in writing via the live stream Q&A feature. If you are participating via Teams application, you can use the Q&A feature and type your comments into the box anytime during our meeting, and we will have those queued up to read. The Q&A function should be used to submit public comments directed to the Commission. If you would like to make verbal comments, you must do so in person or by calling into the meeting by phone. And to minimize disruptions, attendees participating by phone will be muted until we reach the time for public comment. The first order of business is approval of the agenda for today's meeting. Thank you, Chair. I move to amend the proposed agenda for today's Commission meeting by removing item 3B-1, case number U-21130. I second the motion to amend the proposed agenda. Is there any discussion? We will now have a vote on the motion to amend the proposed agenda. All those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Any opposed? The motion carries by unanimous vote. The motion to amend the proposed agenda is approved. Mr. Phillips? I move for the approval of the amended agenda for today's commission meeting. I second the motion. Is there any discussion? We will now have a vote on the motion to approve today's amended agenda. All those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries by a unanimous vote. The agenda as amended is approved. The next item of business on the agenda is approval of the minutes from the April 14, 2022 commission meeting. I move for the approval of the minutes from the April 14, 2022 commission meeting. I second the motion. Is there any discussion? We will now have a vote on the motion to approve the minutes from the April 14, 2022 commission meeting. All those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Any opposed? The motion carries by unanimous vote. The commission meeting minutes of April 14, 2022 are approved. The next item of business on the agenda is the approval of orders and minute actions on the consent agenda. And today the commission is assisted by staff attorney Kelly Barber Dodge. I recognize Ms. Barber Dodge. Good afternoon. Today's consent agenda consists of 12 communications matters. The proposed order and minute actions for these matters have been thoroughly vetted by the Commission's technical and legal staff and are ready for your approval. Thank you. I move for the approval of the order and minute actions on the consent agenda. I second the motion. Is there any discussion? We'll now have a vote on the motion to approve the order and minute actions on the consent agenda. All those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Any opposed? The motion carries by unanimous vote. The order and minute actions on the consent agenda are approved. I recognize Ms. Barbara Dodge. Item 4A1 is case number U18353, which involves an application filed by Indiana Michigan Power Company requesting ex parte approval to update the IM Green Program surcharge and credit in the IM Green Program tariff. The order before you approves the application. I move for the approval of the order in case number U-18353. I second the motion. Is there any discussion? We will now have a vote on the motion to approve the order. All those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Any opposed? The motion carries by unanimous vote. The order in case number U-18353 is approved. I recognize Ms. Barbara Dodge. Item 4A2 is case number U-20833, which involves an application filed by Consumers Energy Company requesting ex parte approval of a power purchase agreement between Consumers Energy Company and STS Hydropower LLC for the output of the Morrow Hydro Plant. The order before you approves the application. I move for the approval of the order in case number U-20833. I second the motion. Is there any discussion? We'll now have a vote on the motion to approve the order. All those in favor of the motion say aye. 
Aye. Aye. Aye. Any opposed? The motion carries by unanimous vote. The order in case number U-20833 is approved. I recognize Ms. Barbara Dodge. Item 4A3 is case number U-21090, which involves an application filed by Consumers Energy Company for approval of an integrated resource plan pursuant to MCL 460.6 the order before you approves an extension of the integrated resource plan statutory deadline for a 60 day period and provides a tentative schedule in the event that the settlement agreement is contested. Thank you. I move for the approval of the order in case number U-21090. I second the motion. Is there any discussion? We will now have a vote on the motion to approve the order. All those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Any opposed? The motion carries by a unanimous vote. The order in case number U-21090 is approved. I recognize Ms. Barbara Dodge. Item 4A4 is case number U-21152, which involves an application filed by Upper Peninsula Power Company requesting ex parte approval to update the company's green program credit on its green program tariff. The order before you approves the application. I move for the approval of the order in case number U-21152. I second the motion. Is there any discussion? We will now have a vote on the motion to approve the order. All those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Any opposed? The motion carries by a unanimous vote. The order in case number U-21152 is approved. I recognize Ms. Barbara Dodge. Item 4B1 is case number U-20883, which involves the application of Semco Gas Company to approve its 2022 to 2023 energy waste reduction plan. The order before you approves the energy waste reduction plan as described in the order. I move for the approval of the order in case number U-20883. I second the motion. Is there any discussion? We will now have a vote on the motion to approve the order. All those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Any opposed? The motion carries by unanimous vote. The order in case number U-20883 is approved. We've now reached the time reserved for members of the public to address the commission. As mentioned in the notice for today's meeting, we will take public comments in the following order. First, individuals attending in person. Next, written comments from individuals using the Microsoft Teams live stream Q&A. Then verbal comments from individuals submitting names in the Q&A feature and who have called into the meeting. And finally, from individuals participating only through the phone option. If anyone attending in person desires to address the commission, please come to the microphone. Okay, we will now uh, turn to public comments through the remote options. Again, if you would like to make a comment and have access to the Teams live stream Q&A feature on your computer, please enter your name and your comment, which will then be read aloud to the commissioners. This feature is available on the right-hand side of the control bar next to the mute button. As a reminder, the Q&A feature is intended for public comments directed to the commission and not to engage with other participants or respond to their comments. After taking any comments through this feature, we will open up the phone line for those who called into the meeting and would like to address the commission verbally. If you want to be queued up for verbal comments, please enter your name in the live stream Q&A feature and indicate that you wish to make a verbal comment, but please do not include your written comment as this will avoid duplication. I will first call on these names in the order received, and after hearing from those individuals listed in the Q&A, we will ask if there are any comments from individuals who are on the phone line but not utilizing the online Q&A feature. Please note that you can only make verbal comments by calling into the meeting. When it is your turn to speak, press star six on your phone to unmute. As a reminder, this public comment period is for commissioners to listen to comments and concerns and not to answer specific questions. When providing comment, please indicate your name and where you live if you are willing to share so we have that for our records. And please limit comments to one per person and keep them brief, no longer than three minutes so we have a chance to hear from all who would like to comment. Uh, Ms. Cole, I believe that you are again ably assisting us with this part, portion of the public comment period. Are there any comments that have been entered into the Q&A feature? There are no comments at this time, Chair Scripps. Uh, are there any folks who have indicated through the Q&A feature that they wish to make public comment? None at this time. Okay, thank you. We'll now open it up to those who have just called in through the phone line. Uh, if there's anybody on the phone at this point who wishes to make public comment, you can, you can do so now. And again, a reminder to press star six on your phone to unmute. Try one more time, just in case there are folks struggling with any of the unmuting functions. 
Again, press star six on your phone to unmute, and if there's anybody who wishes to make a public comment at this time, you may do so. Okay, a quick meeting today. Um, we'll close the public comment period. Um, I think the only announcement that I have is just uh, a congratulations to Miguel Cabrera. Uh, what he did this weekend <laughs> was something else, and I'm not sure we'll ever see it again. Um, so congratulations, Miggy. Any other announcements? I don't believe so, Chair. Nothing. All righty. Well, that concludes today's meeting. The next regular commission meeting is scheduled for Thursday, May 12, 2022 at 1 o'clock p.m. Is there a motion to adjourn, Commissioner Phillips? I motion to adjourn today's commission meeting. I second the motion. We will now have a vote on the motion to adjourn the meeting. I'm always wondering what happens if this vote fails, but, <laughs> but we've never tested that. We've never gone into the So <laughs> all those in favor of adjourning the meeting uh, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? The motion carries by unanimous vote. The meeting is adjourned. Thank you.